Hello everybody. How was everybody's day? Uh, well, the weather is getting cooler and it's starting to get comfortable to sleep. I just hope it stays this way. Um, I had finished all the way around. Remember I said I was going to put frills on the bottom? Um, somebody is interested in this barrette and they requested not to have the frills. And so with my delight, I'm like, okay, that makes it easier for me. So uh, if you remember, I did three sets of, of uh, what do you want to call these? Um, I call them pillars. So I did three sets of pillars, and then after doing three sets, I went back through with three of the yellow neon. Now that I am finished, what I did, I, I had threaded a new needle, not a new needle, but new threading, and I came up on the very first, the, where the first yellow bead, um, of the three pillars and I I came up from behind here sewed it through here and then I went up through the very first pillar and then I went through the first two yellow beads just to get to the middle one and from there I added let me see if I can show you this all right, and then I added five more neon beads. Oh, that's not going to go good. There. Okay, so. Hmm. Where is it going? Oh, okay. See, um, when I started this, I, I started from the back. And, um, that's why I got a little confused. I'm like, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> so now I just figure it out. So from here on in, what I'm going to be doing is just adding five beads and sewing it to the very middle of every little three here that you see. I'm only going to put it right through the middle section of every one of them. So, so yeah, um... Again, I I went and I sewed through from the back to the front, and then I went up through the very first pillar, and then I went through the first two yellow beads. And then now that I'm through that middle section, I'm all set to go through every middle section of this. So you just basically add five beads. And let me just show you. It's very simple. This here will be the last task um, I will be doing before I add, I, I start doing the, the earrings. So there's two, four, and five. So I'm just going to turn this over because that's how I started and I just don't want to end it that way. But yeah, uh, I'll show you what it looks like. I, I, I wasn't too sure... This is the reason why I, I went ahead and did this. I actually went and did like a few of, of, uh, of these rounds. I called them rounds. Um, I just wanted to see what, like to get an, a grasp of what it was going to look like and if I should add different coloring. And I'm actually quite pleased. Okay, so... Okay, <laughs> I'm trying to be very calm. <laughs> Sometimes this could become overwhelming. There, so there's two of them. Okay, what's that for? Four. 
five. And then I'm just going to go Having a bended needle is not an easy task. Sometimes you can benefit from it, and sometimes it's hard. I, I find it hard from time to time. Okay, so that's the third one. Uh, and. So basically, this is all you have to do all the way around is the same thing. Add, f add five. If I can get the bead on the needle. Five. So this is the easy part. So this is the last of the beading and then the hair clip will be finished but I wanted to show you how it's gonna look after and I'm starting to really like the looks of that so um, I'm just gonna stop right here and I'm gonna do the rest off off camera I just wanted to touch base with you all and show you what I'm doing with the the touches on the the last of the edging of the hair clip and it's looking really nice now you see this here how like a rainbowish yellowish tint is with this uh gem this here is like uh, i think it's like three or four dollars for this little gem and i end up finding the perfect match of earrings that I'm going to be doing and this here like the camera really don't do it justice but it's basically the same as this little gem these are going to be the matching earrings and I'm undecided what size this here I use you know these key uh, rings they're really good for uh, earrings as well and I just wanted to sh show you that <clears throat> if I could show you this here's a smaller uh, dream catcher but this here's a smaller key ring that I used and I find that the key rings work best because of the fact that it has like uh, uh, like an edge, a uh, thick edge that you can actually lay your beads on top. Um, if you look on my, my site that I have on Facebook, see I have, I have many more small ones. But, if I use the big ones, the big ones would probably be a lot better than using the small ones. And that's why I want to use the big ones, because I like the, the coloring that, or the style that it'll give me after, but... If I go with these, these here are actually little, little earrings, and look how the size. I'm kind of like, I, I kind of want to give these a try, but then I'm like saying I might be wasting my time, because I know myself, I'll probably tear it apart. And I think I'm going to have to stick with these. And the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm also deciding to go with these is because of the silver. I do have gold hooks. But uh, 
I, be, I decided to go with all silver, so that's what I'm going to be doing next. Um, so I'm going to finish up this bread tonight, and I will be back tomorrow to show you how to start an earring. I'm actually planning on doing part of a dream catcher style, and this little square piece is going to be in the middle. As you can see, there's two little uh, tops, hoops that I can actually sew this into um, the, the design. And then all around the edges is going to be the same as this right here, the same kind of edging um, I'm going to be putting all the way around the outside of that earring. So, yeah, come back tomorrow, um, and we will get started on that. So, I'll see you then.